You're listening to Bodhi Light Tales, the podcast for mindful people on the go. Hi, this is Miao Guang. Today's Bodhi Light Tale is The Poisonous Scorpion. Once upon a time, there lived a poisonous scorpion on the riverbank. As days, weeks, and months passed, he thought to himself, I'm so tired of this boring life. It feels like I've been living here forever. A change of scenery would be nice. I wonder what's on the other side of the river. Since then, the scorpion could only but think about how he could cross the river. Then another thought came to him. Maybe if one of the animals around here would consent to helping him cross. Little did he know, all the animals were scared of him. One morning, as the scorpion wandered around the river bank, he heard the kangaroo yell to the possum, Quick, run! The scorpion is here! Before the scorpion could even say anything, they were gone. Even the koala, sitting high in the tree, kept a watchful eye on the scorpion and warned the other animals. Go! Hurry! He's getting closer to you! They would all stay as far away from the scorpion to avoid any chance of being stung and poisoned. Utterly disappointed, the scorpion knew that getting help to cross the river was going to be a challenge. However, he did not wish to give up. He went around asking for help and tried very hard to convince all the animals that he would not sting them. But no one was willing to take the risk. The birds in the sky and the fish in the river all rejected the scorpion's request for help crossing the river. All were scared their lives would be in danger. Each day, the scorpion would look at the other shore, sad that he did not have wings to fly across. He also admired the fish, who had the freedom to swim leisurely in the river. One day, the sky was clear and the sun was shining. Again, the scorpion went for a stroll along his river bank. He then saw a turtle, slowly making his way towards him. Without hesitation, the scorpion said, Turtle, I would like to be like you, always learning and seeking new adventures, roaming around. I would like to travel to the other shore of the river. Can you please take me over there? The turtle answered reluctantly. I'm willing to help you, but your poisonous sting could kill me. How can I trust you? The scorpion beat his own chest and replied. I promise you I won't. Besides, you are carrying me across the river. My life is in your hands. If I was to poison you, how would that benefit me? Why would I do something so silly? Please help me. You are my only hope. Seeing the scorpion pleading, the turtle said, All right, but remember your promise not to sting me, okay? Yes, yes, I promise. The scorpion replied happily. He then hopped onto the turtle's back. The turtle swam hard and fast across the river. But on the verge of reaching the other side, he felt a sharp sting on the back of his head. Angry, the turtle yelled at the scorpion. You ungrateful scorpion! You stung me with your poison on purpose. I knew you could not be trusted. 
Now we are both going to drown and die. Why would you even do such a thing? Feeling guilty and regret, the scorpion replied, "I didn't mean to hurt you. Please forgive me. I am really sorry for what happened. I have been a scorpion for so long that it is in my nature to sting and use my poison." I really didn't mean to do it. This story highlights that we all have our own habits. If we develop habits of love and compassion, our minds will remain pure, and we will be at ease. If we develop the habits of cherishing and building affinities with others, it can lead us to good affinities. However. Developing bad habits such as greed and jealousy is like trapping our minds in the locked gates of hell. We will constantly be stranded in a sea of suffering. The Buddha said, "Life is impermanent, just like the morning dew. Water drops are fleeting. Nothing lasts forever. Despite the savings that we may deposit in our bank accounts." There is no guarantee we will always make an income from it. Life is short, so we should learn to practice loving kindness, doing kind deeds, and being the master of our own lives. We should practice discipline, meditative concentration, and wisdom to subdue the poisonous scorpion in our mind. We should remove the poisonous sting from ourselves, in order to safely arrive on the other side of the river. Just as Venerable Master Xingyun says, repeated action becomes a habit. Habit becomes a character. A character becomes fate. Fate rules your life. This is Miao Guang. Thank you for listening to Bodhi Light Tales. Subscribe to us and have stories delivered to you every week. May your day be filled with happiness and wisdom.